holy smokes guys <laughs> this is insane this is february 23rd 2023 in big bear california we're on moon ridge road um i can't believe what we're getting here my house has close to i don't know probably about two and a half three feet um thank you guys for being on all the live feeds today i appreciate you guys if you guys really like what we're doing please hit the like button hit the subscribe button right babe yes please please it really helps us out a bunch gets these videos shown to a lot more people comment I, share yes comment share share and comment watch the commercials watch the commercials <laughs> all right so we're gonna oh my gosh guys this is epic and, and this isn't even the heaviest stuff tomorrow and saturday is when the heaviest stuff is supposed to be smashing us so yeah as i said we're on moon ridge road in some epic conditions i mean just epic conditions how many feet of snow or inches of snow do you think we're driving through right now because we're definitely right now through, so. so on this road nothing really because it's um well it's been so compacted down maybe three four inches of just solid snow but in this area they've received close to three feet of snow it's pretty incredible you guys and where we're going to upper moon ridge they've received even more than that we did the upper moon ridge a little bit during the uh the live feed and my gosh it was incredible you guys but right now this is where we're at we got the good map on right now and it's 26 degrees things we have to do guys to keep our vehicles in okay shape here's someone right here walking or shoveling yeah and the this the do-it-yourself car wash um they have hot water there so you can spray off your uh, tires and underneath your carriage where all the ice builds up it's great it's great and it does make a difference huge oh yeah oh it's a, it, it's a huge difference by morning time they'll be full again but that's okay at least we'll have somewhat of a fresh ride on our next ride so that's that's a good thing so right now we're on club view if you stay on club view and go to the top there's a free sledding location now with this storm guys you're going to be able to find so many places to sled just don't go where it says no trespassing please because and look at the bottom see where you're going to end up with what you're sliding into is what i'm trying to say so don't try not to slide into the street Yes. Pick places where you're not going to be sliding into the road. And then hang on a second, real quickly. This is Bear. We're at Bear here. So hang on, guys. Okay, guys. I mean, this is unbelievable. We're just going to go straight. And then there's this little private neighborhood with a, a security gate that we're going to turn in and then turn around because during snowstorms or big storms, for some reason, the gate's open. And this is like one of those freaking neighborhoods. Look at how much snow they have right here. If you wouldn't see this neighborhood if you didn't know where it was. As a matter of fact, I have a friend who lives right here. Oh, his car is on. Maybe, oh, this is, may, um, maybe he's outside, babe. This is the guy that was going to let us. I think he lives here where we were going to do the interview. Yes. I was, I was going to park. There he is. No way. No freaking way. I'll ask him if he's okay to be on. What's up, bro? Dude, we just pulled, we just pulled, babe, babe, no, no, no. We just pulled, pulled in here yeah. just to make a U-turn and nice to see you, bro. Yeah, absolutely, you too. Do you mind uh, saying hello to everyone? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was literally just, I, I, I was literally just watching it, it's so funny. Oh, no oh, way, dude. Cool. What's up, dude, guys, that's Matt. Matt is a super cool cat. Literally, the guy lives like, on the other side of this house right here is the ski slope. <laughs> like, it literally is the ski slope. It's a trip to get 
Yeah, man. Great to see you, dude. It's great to see you. You don't mind us pulling in here to make a U-turn and stuff like that? No. Okay. Yeah. All right, dude. Safe. All right, man. Thanks for watching, dude. Later, Matt. You guys, that guy is so cool, you guys. That guy is so cool. How are we going to get out of here? Hey. Okay, guys, I know the windshield wiper sucks. And I can't see anything behind us. You want me to go just stuff the camera? It's, it's caked on. There's, you have no chance. It's just iced on there, babe. Thank well, you. Well, when we go to the car wash, that'll take care of that. Yes, correct. For a minute. Correct. Oh, we're sliding down backwards. Our first little slidage. Guys, this is insane. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Can you hold this, babe? Can you point it out? Just... Yeah, so guys, I'm stuck. I never thought I would ever, uh -oh. ever say that. Yeah, right. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, babe. Look. That was just to play with your guys' emotions. And uh, I really was stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared. I was scared too. I was like, that's embarrassing. Oh Pull into a neighborhood you shouldn't be in. <laughs> but it's my friend. He, he said I can come in anytime. So, and when we were, we were going to do the Fox weather interview, he was going to let us park there so I could go do my live interview at Bear Mountain instead of having to find a place to park. So, and look, here's Bear Mountain. This is how close he is. We're going to go through the Bear Mountain parking lot real quick, guys. It just looks like, it, it looks like a war zone. <laughs> like, like, look at this. Just a couple <laughs> cars just bombed. Look at this place, man. We could definitely do donuts in here. Yeah. I'm just worried about this car doing that. When, when we get my other Subaru back, we'll be doing a lot of donuts. It's just, uh, especially for our wheel, wheel well issue. See, that's exactly. This is where I used to work, guys. I used to go in that black door right there as a cook. I really miss working here. I had a lot of fun, you guys. I had a lot of fun. This, this is, you know what, guys? We're just gonna do one quick, like, freaking donuts. Now watch this get stuck. <laughs> We're gonna reverse it, we'll be fine. Anytime you get stuck, the best thing to do is try to go in reverse, I think. Uh, not, not, yeah, we did, but in that video we did earlier, that was e even bigger it because going, yeah. it was unintentional for the last part of it. I, think was I know that's, I was, babe, I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the exact same thing. I was worried. All right, guys. So that was bear. Now we're on gold mine, but as soon as it, it curves to the left, we'll be on Moonridge Road again. And we are definitely going to be headed out to Upper Moon Ridge so you guys can see how much snow is up there. We're going to do the Villa Grove Drive again, but this time we're going to do it the, the other way. We're going to go through a turn on Wolf Drive first and go down Villa, or through Villa Grove that way. We went up Sheephorn, so this time we're going to go up Butte. Does that work for you, babe? And then go down Sheephorn. But that'll drop us off right over here. At least we have a full full tank of uh, lead. The windshield wipers are so bummed right now. They're like, I can't I can't believe how much work you're putting us through. I like you, babe. You make me happy. You make me happy. So here's reporting from Mammoth, guys. Oh wait, no, Big Bear Lake. We're getting a consistent snow. So once again, guys, this is gonna be not the easiest drive because it's dangerous. This drive is so dangerous, this drive. So I 
mean, I am glad that we're, we're able to get snow plowed out of our driveway, but I'm starting to get a sense of like cabin fever. See, I, I said the same thing earlier when you were gone and... Um, like it's a horrible feeling. Yeah, it's it like is. Claustrophobic. It's claustrophobic. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's... When we go to the live, can you say that? Because a lot of people didn't understand what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, certainly. And this lady said, I wish I had cabin fever. And I laughed. I'm <laughs> like, you really don't. It's like literally a, a gnawing feeling at your stomach. But um, I wonder how Debzilla's um, trip is going. Debzilla's on her way up here or something? No, she made her way up yesterday and um, she said that, you know, it was, it was a, a rough ride and they didn't have any food when they got into town, so I told her. Oh, that's right. Was. That's right. That's so right. I wish you would get on the live and, or even on this video if you watch Debzilla. I'd love to see how your trip is going and what you think and your opinion on if people should have waited, if you should have waited, if you still had fun. What was your experience? I would love to hear as well. I would love to hear that. <clears throat> Guys, this is so much steeper than it looks. It is so steep. Cars are always stuck on this. I have a feeling we're not gonna see any cars driving no, up here. sure not. Like none. And if it is, it's a... Uh, yep. Because people not are not stuck. dumb like us. Or not us, me. My wife's just going for the ride. Look, see, there's, so a, there's a plow. <laughs> there's a plow. That's the only... Yeah, plow. see. So this is Butte. We're turning right on, on Butte. This is a very dangerous road because of how steep it is. This is right here in this spot is where a lot of people get stuck. Right here. Yeah. And then if you make it through... Then the next long part going up. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah. People start sliding backwards down the big hill. But a lot of people don't realize there's this small street that you can turn on. What's it called? Ooh, it starts with an M. I think. I'll tell you guys right now. But you can turn there and then go left on Sheephorn instead, and it takes you right around through Butte. And you're more likely to go at that route successfully than you are the um, the steep. Are you talking about this very next right turn? Because the yeah. other Menlo, one. Menlo. Uh huh. Menlo. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you turn here and then you go left on Sheephorn, there's it's like a smaller. It's way less steep and you're a lot more likely to make it. So turn right on Menlo here and go back around and it'll take you through Butte. So this is the scary part of Butte, guys. It is so freaking steep, but we're gonna haul some butt up here so we don't risk any this chance of- Everybody gets stuck. Everyone right gets stuck here. right here, it's right here. Disaster and it's, right here. And I mean, we are just, babe, this is like nothing for us right now, huh? This is awesome. This is how my Mitsubishi used to kick butt. I hate that guy. I know, me too. I, I'm devastated and I'm hurt, but I'm going to get anyone that wants to hurt me back with my own success. I'm just going to get, a, you know. Yeah, you set me back a little bit. Who? Him? Mm -hmm. By yeah. doing that to my car, but not forever. But now she's with a much better guy who will... It, it, it is hurtful. It does hurt my heart that that, that person did that. And this person also screwed up my fairly brand new Harley Davidson, but what he didn't realize is that now I have less than a year worth of payments left and I'm getting a brand new Harley from them. So thanks, bro. I got a brand new bike because of you with only one year worth of payments. So thank you, buddy. Yeah, I wish that was the case with Douche my bag. Car, but... <clears throat> I mean, I can take it, but don't do that. Don't do that to Rachel. She's the sweetest girl ever. I, I really don't deserve it. And, no, you don't. And even, you know, after everything, I was still really nice and had a really high opinion of that person, but I don't anymore. The guy's a closet serial killer. He's a weirdo. Stop. Okay, <clears throat> subject change. Okay, sorry, guys. So we're turning on to Wolf. Yes. And we're on Villa Grove. Wolf and, Grove. and so we're going to turn left on La Crescenta and take that all the way until it turns into Villa Grove again. And we're, we're going to drive the whole way around. And, oops. Here, see another. Oh, no. That's not a snow plow. He, lock, he locked himself out of the car. No. Yeah. He, oh, no. He locked himself in the middle of the road. How do you pull that no. off? He was probably doing what, what we do. Was that La Crescenta? 
Wait, let's let's see here. Let's see. I think that was Locker sets up. That definitely wasn't. That was the driveway. Yeah, that was Locker sets up. Turn in right here. Yeah. I'm gonna back into this drive area. It's always scary. You never know. It's like just a little edge further. Totally. Okay. One time I thought I was pulling into one and it was just a blanket. Oh shit. <laughs> this isn't. This might not be the best idea for me to back in. No, but I'm sliding backwards. Oh. I don't want to slide into their freaking garage. Oh, I'm freaked out right now. I am freaked out right now, guys. Look at those chairs, if you guys can see them in the <laughs> snow, but your brights on, babe. They are. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're, their chairs are probably... Let me zoom in. Oh, yeah. Those chairs have seen better days. <laughs> So, I guess we could have kept on going to the very end there, but I just want to take one road, the whole road up, or the whole road through. 14, 9, 6. We're getting a bunch of beautiful blowing snow up here as well. It's so pretty, guys. Yep, La Cacenta. I knew I passed it. Here it is. So, guys, we're in the snowiest part of Big Bear at the moment. This is Upper Moon Ridge. Look at that tree. Look at that tree. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing, you guys. Oh, the plow guy forgot to shut his cage. His plow inside is full of snow. Oh, no. That's a bummer. Driveways to the right, guys. There's no way they're getting in and out of their driveways. Houses here. Yeah, there's no way. They're, they are so bummed. That's taller than my car. That is crazy. So, some of these places that you guys rented and, and you weren't able to get to, this is where, um, this is what it would look like if you actually got to. Yeah. Dig yourself in. Yeah, there's a lot of Airbnbs up here in Upper Moon Ridge, which is great, but at the same time, it's it's so dangerous to get up and down here. So a lot of people are so excited to get up here to get to their Air, Airbnb, but then they can't get to it. Just stay on this going straight. Chris's sister used to live up right around here. I used to do uh, deliveries for her from, from, from this guy. Okay, guys, we're gonna be this takes us around and and when we do our 180 right here, it'll be Villa Grove that we turn onto. Which just takes us from La Crescenta to Villa Grove. No choice. Wow. Look at look at that. Look at that. Good luck getting into that that driveway, guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Hey, that's insane. That is Grove is unrecognizable. It really is. This whole place is unrecognizable now. Big Bear looks so pretty right now. I am so happy. But once again, I do have that cabin fever feeling. I know I'm damaging my car. I know just a lot of not good things because of the snow, but. Uh, this is how we cope with the snow. That's what someone asked. <laughs> yeah, so here, yeah. Here, here, here. Thanks. 
stairs to go down, so when the snow does cover it, it looks like a lot. She probably looks like she's under the that hospital. Yeah, she lives in a really heavy, snowy location up here. And it's, uh, as I said, guys, this is not fun for people. I mean, look, these are driveways, guys. Some of these people cannot get into their driveway. And for a plow job right here, it's so expensive. Are you kidding me? I want a plow job at my house. Oh, we've got the best plow guy in town. We may have gotten him some work just from this channel, babe. Awesome. Yeah. But he'll be back over about 5 in the morning to clear out the new foot of snow. Driveway. Overnight, there should be another foot of snow. So, I mean, I, it's just, it's remarkable, babe. I can't wait to see what the lake looks like after all this melts. Isn't that going to be great? It's definitely going to give springtime a beautiful boost on the lake, which I'm looking forward to because the lake is looking a little swampy. Yeah, a little nasty. Yeah. And by the way, guys, I'll be collaborating with a YouTuber who, does, who has thousands of subscribers. His, his channel is only about fishing. And you guys always ask me about fishing, and I don't know a damn thing about fishing. So I'm happy to do that for you guys. I think it's going to be fun and awesome. And that'll be a good way for my wife to come with me, and we can get out on the lake. But I don't like to fish. It's just not fun for me. But I know it's about, you know, spending time with friends and loved ones and obviously if you need food it's a great great source <laughs> we, I, growing up we always went fishing so I, I love you? fishing yeah it, it's kind of funny though because before, th before I hit the age of 13 I could put the worm on bait fish and after 13 I got very girly <laughs> and squirmy and I can no longer hook the bait onto the hook that's so disgusting somebody does it for me, I love fishing. It's so fun. It's so fun. Some of the best memories. I'm such a wuss, though, because I don't like hurting the fish, even though I'll, I'll eat them all day long. But if it's one that, like, we catch, I have a hard time eating it. <laughs> really? Yeah, sadly. I've a lot of fish that, that we've caught. They're so yummy. Yes, before. yeah, that's and right. A bunch of kids in the back of the truck and you'd take us all to the beach and we'd go. The girls would sit down at the bottom and sunbathe and go in the water and the boys would be up on the um, pier fishing where they could see us. Just so much fun. <clears throat> hey baby, can you see if the live feed's still on? Yes, it what? is. I, I just commented. Because when I went out to my car, I came back in and the screen was off saying reconnect. I couldn't believe it. Okay, we're turning on Luna to head down Sheephorn. And Luna hasn't been touched with a car in a long time. Look at this. We're, we're making fresh tracks in this new foot of snow on Luna. This is great. It, is it on me? That's not our life here. <laughs> it, it, it said that it's just live and big riding right there. Let's just see if it's still on. Oh, I was freaking out because I didn't see my car. Is it still on? Yeah, right? Or no? Oh my gosh, guys. People are not as dumb as I am to take this road down. Look at, there's nobody who's been on this road in a long time. Look at how, you guys don't realize how deep this snow is that we're driving on right now. It feels like I'm like on a boat right now, driving. But I'm a good captain, right, babe? Mm -hmm. Thanks, babe. 
El Capitan. So the hardest part of this road is coming up in just a moment. Oh, look at this beautiful, beautiful area, just untouched. Oh my gosh, babe, look at how beautiful it is. Woke up this morning, cleaned myself a house. Look at, they did a lot of plowing here to get in there. Jeez, it's a lot of work. That's probably an Airbnb. <laughs> I mean, I also have to say that the, the Airbnbs in situations like this have to spend a fortune to get set up for you guys. Like, these plows are not cheap. Okay, guys, here we go. This is gonna be freaky. At least we have these huge berms on the side in case we lose control here. Oh, man. We're going like straight down here and it, it turns right. It doesn't look that steep through my camera, which is annoying because I want you guys to see how freaking dangerous this is, but. Another part that wraps, wraps around to the left here. As we said, only snow plows will see on the road. That's what my wife said. And was that correct? 100%. Only people plowing are on the road right now. And we're just plowing through the snow. Yeah, boy. Look, there's, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Moonloaf would be awesome right now. I wish we had the other car. I wish we had the other car. No, you no, baby. I, I, you have to come with me. I want my baby with me. There's only one part where you can fall over the edge. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Alright, we made it. We made it back. We're almost back to Moon Ridge Road. So we're going to take this to Moon Ridge and then Moon Ridge to Big Bear Boulevard. And then, should we go to the car wash or no? Car, car feels fine right now. Road, guys. Oh, here's a regular car. And another one. Look at how beautiful this is. It's just heavenly. Alright, here we 
go. Now we are on sun, we're turning left on sunset for 50 yards, and then it turns into Moon Ridge Road. drive here. So yeah, so you, you can't see where the curves are all around the bottom. Like you can't see anything. And you know the snow piles are, are gonna rip some of these curves up eventually, right? You can't see them. Yeah exactly. I think they might actually think that they hired some of the way. That's why someday I'd like to run for office up here. And the thing Change is the that, standard up here. You know, the thing is that they, it's a group of people who voted yes. That's what scares me. Is it's not just one person that said, let's go put a roundabout. It's literally a whole bunch of people that yeah, had totally. to approve it and said, yes, that's a great idea. I don't know. What do you guys think about the roundabout? Let us know in the comments. Look, see, there's like a big curb, which is right here that we're going over right now. So that, what we just ran over is the is the curve. Yeah, is the roundabout that they put there. That's why it's crazy. So we're going to turn left on Evergreen and, and get a little loose, come back around to Brownie, and then we'll be done with this drive. All right. Left turn signal. Tick, 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 tick. Moonridge yeah. Cabins? I wonder if Moonridge Cabins has rooms with spas. i never even seen them before. They're right there. Right next to apples? Yeah. No way. Well, you know what? We should check it out. You know what? This is the type of weather that I'll bet they would give us a huge discount because they would rather make money. Able to make it yes, out. they'd rather, baby, right when we get home, I swear we'll go stay at a place tonight. Ding, and I didn't even think of it, but when the um, Nguyen said that they weren't able to get their refund, I didn't even say we could probably stay there or offer anything like that. I completely forgot that we even wanted to do that. If people lost their deposits or didn't have a chance to reschedule, we were saying that we would, you know, send you a little bit of money and stay in your Airbnb just so that you didn't lose everything. Everything. We didn't offer that to the Nguyen family. Sorry guys, we forgot. It's been a lot. It's We've had a lot going on. It has been a lot. You know what guys, should we go by Snow Summit real quick? I think we should, babe. Shouldn't we? Yeah. Okay. Because we're right here. Let's turn this on and get this back thing trying to do its do its job. Hey, this is insane. <laughs> Look at all the snow on the roof. <laughs> like, like this looks like mammoth or aspen or veil. Are you on the live feed at all, honey bunny? Are people not, are people enjoying themselves? That, that we have a live feed like that. That's so cool. I forgot to tell everybody that Ben Brissy last night sent me messages and sent me 50 bucks on, on Cash App. Yeah, you did forget to tell me that. Just pretend like you don't see this guy if he's a security worker. Watch out for the kids. I see There's the kid. kids and you're driving so I, fast. I, I see the kid. I know, but I know, babe. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I know, babe. Nocturne's mom saw how fast you were driving me around and she couldn't believe it. 
Oh, well, she's gonna hate this video. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's not as fast as it looks. It's really not. But this, yeah, right here is where you pay for your lift tickets at Snow Summit. This is so beautiful, you guys. So cool. Candy corner. Oh my gosh, this is great. This is great. This is so beautiful. We really are lucky to live in a place that can get beautiful like this. I mean, it, it turns it into a completely different place. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. gorgeous you guys all right we're gonna make like Tom and Cruz we're gonna go through the parking lot and come back around Tango, you're gonna love your Subaru Outback Touring XT, bro. You're gonna love it. And it's got some courage, too. It really does. So this exit for Snow Summit can be super dangerous, too. This is a lot steeper than it looks. If there's traffic, it's, it's tough, it's tough. For us, we're just gonna coast down it. Brakes don't work over there, baby. All right, let's see here. We're gonna take this back to Browning Lane, and then we're gonna take Browning Lane back to Moon Ridge, and we'll be done with this. This is the same street as Carl's Jr., you guys. Right there where those tr truck and SUV are straight ahead. Carl's Jr. is right there on the right. And this is Brownie Lane. So guys, look, it looks like we're like hauling butt, right? But look, look at the speedometer. 15 miles an hour. We're not going that freaking fast, but it just looks like it. Bye, baby. Snow alert on my phone. No kidding. All right, this is Summit Boulevard again, guys. This is where Snow Summit is. Oh, this town is gonna be so pretty. I mean, it already is so pretty, but it's gonna be beyond gorgeous. And we're gonna have icicles galore for boy fame. They're gonna oh, reach yeah, the ground, babe. Here. They're they're gonna reach the ground. It's I gonna really be awesome. I hope he makes it up and, and has a really great time. I hope that. His trip goes well. So do I. And he gets to see all the icicles he dreamed of. This is what gets my uh, my wheel wells and stuff all screwed up. It's too thick to do donuts in here, so we're just gonna drive through it real quickly and just go out this other side. Way too thick for donuts. They need to plow this. Gosh, the snow is so deep, you guys. But once again, we're just cutting through like Bubba, like butter, like butter. Do you want to talk Yes? No. Okay. All right, you guys. 
We're gonna say goodbye right now, baby. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like follow. And watch our live. If you haven't gotten on the live yet, watch it. It's super awesome and fun, and so many really cool people on there to meet. Thank you, baby. Give a thumbs up. Yeah, guys, please thumbs up, like, subscribe, and uh, let's keep doing this. We're gonna enjoy the rest of this storm. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. I love you guys a lot. It's February 23rd, 2023 in Blizzard Lake, California. I mean, Big Bear Lake, California. <laughs> Peace out, folks.